Welcome everyone, Jimmy Dali here, and today we're going to take a look at Taxi Life, a city driving simulator. A uh, new update has just released, update 4, and I don't know about this, guys. I don't see much has been done as far as force feedback is concerned. It all feels wrong. There's no centering spring in force feedback. Uh, the sliders don't seem to work. I don't know what's wrong. Just let me show you guys real quick. So if we go to controls now and we click on keyboard, as you can see here, there's all kinds of sliders, but they don't seem to be doing anything. No matter what I do, it just feels the same. I lowered this. Um, I go back now to the game, the Zoom game. Drive a bit. It's just, it doesn't, oh, well, it feels a, a bit looser. Feels a bit looser. Okay. Something did happen there. These also adjusted, uh, they gave us camera settings now. Cabin camera position. So we could adjust them by clicking on this button. And as you can see, there's horizontal movement there is vertical should leave that to default further closer pretty cool i'll keep it there uh left right is like a slide something that um bus sim 21 needs slider but they don't seem to move things much it definitely needs more of a sliding movement it's just minimal, very minimal. This should be triple and quadruple the movement. They're just minimal adjustments, very tiny adjustments, which don't, they're not enough, guys. They're really not enough. And uh, aside from that, I have it working on semi-arcade, normal difficulty. Uh, events and traffic, I've lowered that a bit. That's new. Car event spawn rate, let's put that up. Uh, client request is on. All these are, I don't know if they're part of the new update or the old, but you can take off that annoying beetle on the window. I don't know why that was a thing in this game, but I turned that off. Uh, world events, that's like traffic jams and parades, roadworks. <clears throat> All this can be adjusted. I have accidents on. I have a few things on, but, uh, yeah, that's basically all the new stuff that's in the game. Still no track IR, apparently. Still not a thing. Uh, they've also adjusted the, uh, the settings for the steering wheels, guys. Now you can see if, if your steering wheel is actually working in the game. There's no, uh, dead zone or stuff like that. They should have a dead zone for, uh, for the turning radius. And there's no steering wheel turning camera either. Hello. That is something that we could definitely use a turning camera. As I turn my wheel, <coughs> the camera turns slowly. I really like that in a lot of games. And uh, this is not a feature in this game. There's no track IR. So the only turning I can actually do is clicking on the D-pad and looking left. These very narrow streets, I would like to be able to turn my head to see if I'm turning correctly. So no track IR, no uh, VR support for any kind of headset. Nothing. There is a collision beeper as well. You can turn that on. But it just gets annoying just hearing a beeping sound all the time. So I think I've turned that off. I'm not sure. Let's see. If I get close to a guardrail, that doesn't seem to do anything. can't remember where it is. It has to be somewhere here. 
Oh, there it is. And there's the beeper. Alright. You tell me if that gets annoying or not, guys. After a while. We'll just drive around like that a bit. You tell me how bad that is. So I'm on semi-arcade right now. I'm not using my manual shifting on my Logitech Beast G29 steering wheel. I find it uh, a little too annoying to shift in these tiny streets to manual shift. So also the pedestrians seem to be a bit more tame now. They don't actually uh, use the crosswalk in front of you like you're not there. Like you're non-existent. So a lot less pedestrians are crossing in front of your in front of your way. See look at that. Oh god. That is annoying. If I had head tracking right now, things would have been so much better. So much better. Very hard to drive like this, guys, with a zero turning radius on your view and I kept can't keep pressing D left or D right it just gets too annoying especially when I'm turning the steering wheel at the same time I just can't keep that button pressed while I'm turning so maybe a turning camera or head tracking they added that will completely change the game guys I'd be on this game for hours and hours on end if they did that so our passenger doesn't seem too annoyed by my driving we'll see the end result see how things go but yeah update number four released yesterday guys go check it out on steam go check out the change log see what is available and if you like the changes i'm so grateful for taxis oh here we go my legs are extremely sore. he's awake uh should i answer yeah uh let's... sounds like you had a good workout day i did i went for a long walk through the city that's great how do you feel now? Unfortunately, my ankle hurts. Oh no, I hope it's not too bad. Hope so too. I, I will have to go and see a doctor, there's no question. Interesting, we got 100 XP for that little uh, dialogue. Nice conversation, very interesting. Keeps uh, me engaged. I like that. Should happen more often. We should get annoying uh, live streamers or YouTubers <laughs> in the car as well. That would be fun to hear. What kind of dialogue they would stir up. But yeah, very interesting. Very interesting conversation. Thanks, old man. You're awesome. So yeah, semi-arcade, I have the gear shifting with my paddle system. Uh, if I put it to arcade, uh, everything would be controlled automatically, and I hate when it reverses while you're braking. I hate uh, arcade, that's why I keep it on semi-arcade. So I use the paddles to switch to reverse and whatnot. Much better this way. And why does it feel like I always have my uh, interior roof light, ceiling light turned on in this game? Why is there always so much light in the interior of this car? It should be a lot darker. Did you guys notice? Seems like a ceiling light is turned on or something. Anyways, I don't want to bicker too much. But 
I hope you're enjoying this, guys. Don't forget to share, like, favorite, subscribe. Uh, hit me up in those comments. Let me know what you think of this game. What you think of the uh, new update that just released yesterday. And if you like what you see, guys, please click on that bell icon for more awesome content. It's, uh, it's always fun engaging with the, every one of you, so I'm always looking forward to hearing what you have to say. And are you getting this game? Do you have this game? Are you waiting for uh, better updates? Are you waiting for more fixes? Let me know. I mean, I know Jay tried out this game uh, as well. Jay, uh, meaning Young Henny, uh, but he has a Thrustmaster wheel, and I don't know how that works out for him. I'm gonna uh, PM him and see what uh, what he has to say about this game. I don't. I think he got it and refunded it or something like that. But it is, it is a decent game to pick up, guys. If you want to check it out, go on Steam. It's like a driving simulator. It really is. But like I said, just a few, few things are missing. Uh, the FPS seems to be hitting hard for some reason. I still feel that they have to optimize it more as far as FPS is concerned. Really need some work. I'm running like, uh, anywhere from 20 to 50. The 60 FPS. A huge, huge difference. Yeah, a lot of light seems to seep through uh, the ceiling of the vehicle. It's not the ceiling light, it's so much the external light that makes everything look like uh, the ceiling light is working, apparently. Kind of weird. How much light goes over your head? It's like I have a sunroof. Oh shit, I do have a sunroof. <laughs> My bad, guys. <laughs> My bad, I'll take all that back. I just noticed. Uh, where's my... Do I turn right here? Yeah. Okay, so there is a sunroof. And that's why so much light is coming through. I get it now. I didn't know, guys. I make mistakes too, you know. I'm, I'm only human. But yeah, okay. So cheers. Who knew that uh, driving a an electric car will have a old top sunroof? Most of the new cars do, anyways. So I still drive an old uh, Daiwoo, very old Daiwoo. I think I've we've had it from 19, uh, 1993. Yeah, still running good. We also have a Peugeot 106, nice two-door hatchback. That is a very reliable car. That's the one I use most of the time. Manual shifting, five-speed shifting with uh, no. Uh, <laughs> no power steering and I'll tell you it'll give you some good muscle building your arms will become like the Hulk you drive that it's a light car but once you're trying to park it gets uh, it gets tough with no power steering come on buddy what are you doing whoa <laughs> almost, almost hit him we're here so we have three passengers, four, three, yeah, three passengers in the car, even though only one is going to get out. They should fix that. Thanks for the ride. See, look, only one gets out. You have no more passengers. Let's check out the details here. So we did stopping at red lights, speed limit bonus, respecting areas not available to cars, no big collision, driving against traffic flow. I didn't notice that. And small collisions. Yeah, it did hit something, I think. So, good job on the details. And we got five stars for that drive. Difficulty easy, medium length. Carrer del Peu de la Cru, it says. Uh, up to Carrer de la Marina. Alright. 
And that's Brazil for you. I think we're in Rio de Janeiro in real life, if I'm not mistaken. Or Barcelona. I'm not sure which one, guys. Let me know in the chat which uh, taxi service we're running and in which country or city. So, yeah, guys, update number four. Taxi Life, a city driving simulator is update number four is out now. Check it out if you want. Uh, do we have any more passengers? No. One passenger got out, but four seem to be missing now. Three are gone. I'm the only one left. So they should fix that bug. If there's three passengers, show three passengers getting in. If there's one passenger, show one passenger getting in. Come on, guys. Sim track, get your act together. And give us some uh, head tracking or steering wheel turning cameras, please. Thank you very much. That's it, guys. Don't forget, share, like, favorite, subscribe. Hit me on the comments. Let me know what you think of this uh, new update. And hit that bell icon for more awesome content. I'll see you all soon. Jimmy Dali saying toodaloo.